Hi, this is Michael. Um, I wanted to explain a technique I've sort of come up with. Um, it's taken me quite some time to find a solution to this. Um, what I'm solving is the fact that I tend to not use the Koala mixer because I really enjoy using AUM. And I do find that right now, currently, Koala doesn't really have a very good integration with the Koala mixer with AUM. Um, and because of that, you know, uncomfortable, you know, uh, integration, um, I just tend to avoid the Koala mixer. I mean, what I might do is if I'm working in Koala, I might say, oh, I want reverb on this um, kick, you know, on this on the sound. And so I might route that pad to um, one of the buses, add reverb on it, and then I'll resample it. And I'll usually, once I've got it resampled on back onto a pad, I'll then usually delete um, the the effect off of the bus, or I'll make the pad no longer route to the mixer. And if I do that, I feel like. Um, Koala just works how it used to work, and it, and it, it, I can route everything back out to AUM, and I can add additional effects um, within Koala, so, or within UA, AUM. And I find that that solution works well for me. I'm not necessarily suggesting other people don't use it, but what I've noticed is when I work with a collaborator, I can't really tell them, oh, don't use the Koala effects, because the Koala mixer is is one of the best functionality that's within Koala. And, you know, I, I want people to be able to use the tools that they normally use. And admittedly, the Koala mixer effects are probably one of the coolest aspects of Koala. So I totally get it, but it has caused me problems and I haven't been able to find a solution until just recently. And so what I've done is um, and I'll just I'll just walk you through real quick, um, and then I'll explain some of the caveats. So, right now, um, I have one. You can ignore the first three faders; they're not related to this project. They're just for my microphone. Um, but I have one instance of Koala, and right now, if we go to the mixer, you can see I have soloed the first bus, which I've named Sample. And um, right now, if we were to hit play. Um, I've combined all of my sequences into one long sequence that makes my life a little bit easier. And um, right now, if we were to play, we would only hear the, the samples um, that are in that sample bus. And so you hear all the effects on the sample bus, and then it goes out to main. And that's how that works. If I was to mute the main bus, you would hear nothing. So you need the main bus on, otherwise you won't, you won't hear anything. So that's just a requirement. Um, and so if, if a sample is not assigned to any of these buses, it goes straight out to main. And that actually would be a problem. I'll, I'm going to talk about that later, but um, you'll see why it'll be a problem in a minute. Um, I made sure that there are no sounds that go out directly to main. They either go to the, sam to the individual buses or I, I've sent them out to individual outs. So I'll show you that in a minute. So right now we've got the first bus on this instance of Koala. And if I duplicate this instance of Koala and then go to the next bus, we can solo that one and unsolo the first. And so now any pads that were assigned to the B bus are going to get all of the B bus effects and then go out main. All right. And we're going to do that two more times. So again, I'm going to unsolo B, and I'm going to solo C. Any any pad on, that was assigned to C is going to get the effects on C and go out main. And then we're going to do that again. And unsolo C and solo our D bus, which is our drums. And so we get all the effects up of the uh, pads that are assigned to the drum bus. We get all those effects, plus then it goes out main. So right now, you're pretty much done. That was it. I mean, now I could add effects on each one of these um, faders. I could change the volume of each fader if I wanted. 
And then that would allow me to EQ each one of these faders and just use AUM how I normally would. Um, but now let's talk about the, the, the problems. So what I have, what I have to do whenever I use this technique is I have to go through every single pad and make sure that every single pad is assigned to a bus. So all of these are already assigned to sample. All right. And then if I go to the next one, we can see that one's assigned to B, B. Okay, so this one right here was not assigned to a bus. And so it was a, it was just set for main. And I had a whole bunch of pads on here that were on main. But if I duplicate four instances of Koala, this pad will come out of main on all four instances. So that would be a problem. We would be quadrupling the sound. And so I can't afford to have that happen. So the solution is really easy, but you have to do the step. You have to assign each one to an out. So it could be out two. All of the all of the other ones could go to out two and they'll all come out on a fifth bus, uh, a fifth fader, I should say. Um, and so in that case, that one was set for out two. So if I just go here and create a new fader, and go to multibus audio instance. We'll do the first, the first instance of Koalas, the top one. And so that's out too. So that's it. You just need to make sure that every single pad is either assigned to one of the outs, one of the buses, the named buses, or to one of the outs. And you can use all of the outs. I mean, I, I do that, you know, individual sounds I may want to add different effects onto. So I still utilize the eight outs, um, just, you know, and, that, and that's pretty much it. And so as long as you have one long sequence on the sequencer, like I do, you can hit rewind and play and it'll just all, it'll reset all of the, for all the Koala instances and start playing all together. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it, seems more complicated than it is. Um, it definitely is a little more effort, but it's not an unreasonable amount of effort. And it allows me to continue working on our file in AUM. Um, and my collaborator, you know, doesn't really have to change the way that they do their work. We can just work within Koala. And then the very, very, very last step, I can do this um, and then continue working in AUM to do my mix. So I hope you guys can utilize that. Sorry if I'm a little long-winded, but I did want to explain it the best I possibly could.